All right, guys, here we've got a 2014 uh, Maverick. That's uh, one of the new ones. It's got the stud and the set screw. Uh, the stud, the stud, the uh, the nut and the set screw, which a lot of people are having problems getting off. And today I want to try and show you exactly what it takes to get them off. There is a an easy way, and then there sometimes I've had to, sometimes I've wrestled with them for 10 or 15 minutes to get them off. Depends on whether they were put on at the factory or whether you had a dealer installed recall. When the dealer installs them, typically they'll use red Loctite on some of the nuts and uh, the set screw, and they can be tough to get off. Now, if it's done at the factory, it's 100% dry. There's no Loctite. If you've got one that the dealer did and added Loctite, they're pretty tough to get off. Uh, we'll see what this one here is like in just a minute. I will tell you, though, that you, you cannot do this without an impact. It's, it's virtually impossible. I had a guy call me yesterday and asked me, said he didn't own an impact. Was it possible with hand tools? And that, the answer is no. If you don't have an impact, you need to get an impact. Now, on the outside of this, uh, this big stud and nut assembly is a set screw, which is a six millimeter. It is a standard lefty loosey, and it will come out. This one has a little Loctite on it, so it was probably is a uh, maybe as a dealer. Uh, let's see. All right, now once you've got the the set screw out, you've got the big nut out here, and it is a 21 millimeter, and it is also a lefty loosey. And they come off fairly easy most of the time. We got two washers here. You set them to the side. All right. Once the primary comes off, you have the stud that is sitting here. Now the stud is bottomed out in the crankshaft, so you've got to get it off. The easy way, which works about 70% of the time, I put the nut back on. I run the set screw in. Back the nut out and turn the set screw in to where you've got them about flush. That way you got a good you got plenty of, of the nut on the stud and you've got the the Allen screw bottomed out. What I do is take a 21 millimeter wrench and and you tighten the set screw while you're pulling against the uh, the nut. So you're you're trying to jam the set screw and against the end of the crank and tighten or loosen the bolt up so to speak against the set screw so the set screw can tighten up now once you jam those two guys together you put your 21 back on and most of the time it pops the stud right out well this one didn't all right well that's not a big deal that's good i can actually show you a couple of different processes now this I may get it to work. Sometimes you got to work with it a minute. Sometimes it pops right off. I'll tell you what I got. I got my pull bar. Went ahead and got prepared. Take your pull bar and try and tighten these two. Once you jam those guys together, still didn't work. It's not a problem. The next step is adding a another nut is a jam nut this is a 12 millimeter 1.75 and if you order a clutch through me and specify that you have a 2014 i will go on and send you one of these because sometimes it is a necessity you take that 12 millimeter jam nut and you put it on first Tighten your big nut on the outside. 21 and a nut. And you jam these two guys to each other. And once you do that, that's typically going to allow you to pull that stud right out. Just like that. If you see here, you can see the shiny ring on the inside of this shaft you can see where the clutch has been slipping which when you take the spider 
off the outside of this clutch and you see where the two surfaces meet you can see where that guy's been slipping real bad and you can also tell here where the washers were that this clutch has been slipping and spinning now uh, that this bolt and stud assembly the stud and large nut assembly is made to allow this clutch to slip without tensioning the bolt up and shearing the bolt which is what can am was going for so I'm going to show you how to finish taking the rest of this off when you order a kit for me you'll also receive one of these little spreader bolts which goes into your secondary so you pull your belt off let's see here this belt don't look too terribly bad it's been slipped you can see the the definite ring there where the clutch has been slipping and uh, and chewing a groove on the top half of that belt now once you've got all this out back to normal you stick in your puller and you tighten it up until the clutch pops off and this is one of the main reasons you can't do this without an impact once you put the puller in the puller goes inside the threads of the crankshaft and pushes against the end of the crank and as you screw the, the, the puller in it's pushing the clutch away from the crank and that impacting motion from the impact is what actually pushes this clutch off the crankshaft so you can't do that with a handheld wrench you just can't you can't do it so that's one of the main reasons you've got to have an impact now once you've got the primary off put your 17 millimeter on you go back to the secondary Got everything off. She's bone dry. 